OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to change case. Now, I'm actually going to look at five different methods, Flash Fill, Formula, Power Query, Copilot, and a VBA method. Now, the VBA method is slightly different to the others. If you wait to the end of the video, you'll see how this is done. If I type my name in and press Enter, it automatically converts it to uppercase. We could do the same lowercase or proper case. Let's kick off with the first method using flash fill. Now with flash fill in the column directly adjacent to the column that you want to base your conversion on, you type in an example of what you want to achieve. So I'm going to type in Jacob Smith in capital letters. Now press enter and then go back to the cell that contains your uppercase version in this instance. And then you can go to data data tab on your ribbon and you're looking for this button here which is called flash fill now if you press it it will convert all of those names to uppercase now I'll undo that and let's see if we can do it with lowercase we'll do it a slightly different way though so Jacob Smith now this time I'm going to use control enter rather than enter and that leaves me in the cell with my lowercase example and then I'm going to use control E to flash fill so control E is the same as pressing this button here now let's try it for proper case now I'll do control enter to stay in the cell and then control E and you can see it doesn't do such a good job of it now you can attempt to teach it what you want to achieve so if I type in the second name you can see it starts to work out what you're trying to do. But because these names here are such a mess in terms of case, it is going to struggle. So you may find that although change case is very quick to use, it won't solve all of your issues. So let's move on to formula, which is a bit more robust. Now we have three functions we can use, upper, lower and proper. So if I type upper here, it has one argument, which is text. And that's the cell reference containing the text string that you want to convert to uppercase. So A2. And if I copy that down, that will convert all of those names to uppercase. And then you've got lower. Again, you just point at the text that you want to convert to lowercase. And I can copy that down. And you've got proper. So equals proper. And I point at the cell that I want to convert. And that gives me like a title case, capitalized letter on each word. Now the advantage of using the functions, the formulas over using flash fill, is if this was to actually change, Smithson, if there is such a name, that will automatically update your upper, lower and proper case versions of the name. Whereas over here, if I change this, it has no effect on the names that Flash Fill have returned. Okay, now let's look at the third method. This uses Power Query. So what I would do is I'd click somewhere in the data and then I'd have to go to the Data tab on the ribbon and I'd click on this button from Table Range. Then I need to click on OK in this dialog box and that will open the Power Query Editor. And then all I need to do is go to Transform at the top here, then go over to Format here and then I select which case I want to apply. So let's say uppercase. Then I go back to Home and then click on this Close and Load button. Now you'll see it's actually created a separate sheet with the uppercase version of the name. So it didn't do it on the original sheet. Now, why would you use this method? Well, it's quite useful if it's a list that you're continually adding to. So for example, if I add some more names down here, I could then go back to my table one, the table that was created by Power Query, I could right click into that table and choose refresh and it will convert the new names that I pasted into my original list. 
Okay, let's move on to the fourth example using Copilot. Now, to use Copilot, you will need a Copilot license. And if you've got a Copilot license, you'll see the Copilot button here. Now, to use Copilot, you will need to save your workbook to OneDrive and your data must be in an Excel table. So to do that, I'd click somewhere in the data, go to Insert Table or use the shortcut key Control T and then just click on OK. So then I can go to the Home tab on my ribbon. I'm going to go to Copilot. And down here in this prompt box, I can type in what I want to achieve. So I'll say convert names to uppercase. And then I click on this little button here. So you can see here it's used the exact same function as we used on our formula sheet. It's using the upper function. So all I need to do is click on insert column and it creates that uppercase version of your names. Okay, let's move on to the last option using a VBA macro. The code for this macro, I've left a link to in the description of this video. So you need to follow that link and then copy the code. Then what you do is you right click on the sheet tab name and then you go to view code and that will open up the Visual Basic Editor. Then what you do is you just paste in that code that I've provided and the only tweak you'll need to make is to this range here. So at the moment, this macro is only going to run on text strings that I enter into the range A1 to A100. So if you're working in a different column, you need to change that range reference there. So once you've pasted the code into the Visual Basic Editor, you can just close it down. And then it's just a matter of typing in a name. So if I type in Paul, and press enter, it automatically converts it to uppercase. Now, if you wanted to convert to lowercase, then you'd make a slight tweak to the code. Instead of U case, as we see it there, we'd put L case. So if I then close this down, if I type something in here, let's say Jim, and press enter, it converts it to lowercase. Now, if you want proper case, then Go back into the code. So right click on the sheet name, view code. And instead of saying lowercase, you need to write this application.worksheet function dot proper. So then we close this down again. And if I type in Chester Tugwell, press enter, it converts it to title case or proper case. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.